What is up, YouTube? How's everybody doing? Great, I hope. Well, I've got a good one for y'all today. I tell you what, this is a must-have. And I think you all will like it. First off, if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Do me a favor, stab that like button, share, subscribe. It means the world to me, but it only takes a second of your time. Now, like I said at the beginning, um, I have an absolutely must have. Um, yes, it, it could be in some people's eyes considered expensive. In some people's eyes, no, it's not. But, you know, w what could it be? Is it a buck? No, no. It's not a buck. How about a spider co? Oh, ah, my wrist ain't working right. What about a spider co? No, no, not a spider co. What about a, a Kershaw, a ZT, or a Hinderer? I've, I've chose this one because it covers all three. No, no, not really. Uh, although, all these knives that I just showed are really, really awesome knives. They don't compare to nothing. Like the Rough Rider 136. Look at that bad boy. Isn't that just the biggest most intimidating knife you have all ever seen and let me tell you this this will break the bank right here this will really break the bank this is the rough rider 136 smallest knife in the world so how small is it well that's the spider co uh pair of pair of three there's the rough rider 136 i'm telling you when i seen this i was like i gotta have it now we all know the knife community is really really awesome and there is a knife out there for everybody but what i've always said on this channel is that not every knife has to be serious and this is one of those knives. And it was like $2.70 at uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. You know, you pay that much for a cup of coffee nowadays. So, you know, <laughs> I, I, I just think this thing is just absolutely freaking hilarious it's a slip joint and it actually has a a walk and talk to it it's got a half stop <laughs> i mean they how did they do that make it so small now the the question is does it cut well I'd say it probably doesn't cut well, but who cares, you know? You can put this thing on a keychain and say, you know, I'm a knife person, and I'm here to stay. Well, it's not the greatest cut, and you kind of got to give it a start with a, a puncture. But, you know, if you... If you go to work and you can't really have a a knife or anything like that, but you had to open boxes and stuff, you can put that on your keychain or something, and you've always got a little little bitty toothpick you can rip some tape with or whatever. But <laughs> Like I said, I run across that at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Uh, 
when I was placing an order and I was just like, yeah, I got to have it. Oh my gosh, I got to have it. It is so cute. And yes, I said cute. But you got a good clevis on the back there, so you can put it on a necklace or a keychain or whatever you wanted to. <laughs> I can't get over it, y'all. That is just so funny. Well, I hope everybody had a great week. And I figured I'd do something like this to kind of start your weekend off right. Uh, I hope everybody has a great weekend. And like I say, you know, have fun with it. Just not every knife has to be serious. Uh, not every knife has to be considered the knife that's going to save your life. Sometimes something like this is just what you need, you know? But anyway, <laughs> I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you did, like I said, stab that like button. And as I always say, I hope your belly's full. I hope your refrigerator's full. And for the love of everything, I hope your gas tank's full. And we'll see you next time.